Welcome to our LPPD Principles and Practices video series. In this video, we'll learn how LPPD practices enable better teamwork and improve development performance at Schilling Robotics, Ford, and Apple. We have to get past this pervasive myth that great products are developed by lone geniuses working in their garage, or that development is something that engineering or design does. The truth is, the best products are created by diverse teams of experts, bringing together their skills and experiences focused on a single goal. And to me, that's a much more compelling vision of great product development. LPPD principles and practices help teams to communicate, collaborate, and coordinate their work. In our first case, the team from Schilling Robotics, a division of Technip FMC, shares how they use the Obea system to bring their entire organization together in the development of a breakthrough subsea remotely operated vehicle, an ROV that operates in one of the most machine hostile environments imaginable and is changing deep water productivity. Like any big moonshot, it starts with a really simple concept. This is an incredibly technical challenge. We had to learn a lot of new technology, um, but we also had to change the way in which we worked because the technology required the systems to be more highly integrated. We are constantly pushing the edge of what kind of technology we can offer to our customer, which means that we're constantly uh, making things that we haven't made before in operations. We had really reached an asymptote on improvements that we were making in the engineering department. And we were looking for ways to reach another level. Obeya is literally the Japanese term for big room, but it means, it means so much more than that. It is the place where a project comes together and visually displays all of the critical information for that, that project's success. There's the visibility of the issues, there's the visibility of the work going on, and then there's the culture that it creates surrounding actually moving forward in the project. It provided a really good focus on the needs of the teams, what they needed to do to forward the progress, get, get rid of any impediments associated with their development, and it created a lot of trust in the organization. Right out of the gate, we, we started with a weekly cadence. As the program progressed, the Obeya changed over time. It changed locations and it changed, it changed cadence as well, depending on what was going on. I think the first time that I'd ever seen uh, a technician or a lead from the floor be pulled into one of those meetings pretty early on. And that, that feels really good and to have the manufacturing engineers there. So you have this much broader um, set of people who are able to bounce ideas off each other and you come up with wider ideas and you consider perspectives sooner. You're meeting every Monday and you go through a meeting where you're essentially just talking about problems. And one of the things that we learned early on is it's not an area just to dump your issue, it was an area to help them solve their issue, to try and pair together the people that needed to get together to solve problems. So now it's like working with people to develop a way to figure out when this part of the project needs to be released or how do we even break up the project. All those things that we hadn't really made explicit before, that kind of teamwork and preventing things from going wrong in advance was really powerful to me. I was actually pleasantly um, surprised with the amount of information we were able to convey per you know unit of time we went from you know hour plus meetings and we got down to 30 minute meetings with 50 plus people and the information that we were able to pass was was um, four to five times the amount when we first started. Jim, you say all the time that product development is an enterprise-wide effort and I think the OBEA process is probably one of the most useful ways to kind of see that actually happen and see the need for it. OBEA has definitely brought Schilling closer together as a team. Once you 
form those relationships, then the engineer is more apt to talk to the technician or, you know, the buyer is more apt to go talk to the machinist. Once those relationships are formed, um, you can reap the rewards off of them for many years to come. It really helped close the gap in information and input between ops and engineering. It really gives people a chance to see what's coming their way and prepare for it, which is really different. So like, like upfront, um, identifying those things and working together to solve the problem before it happens. I think all of the processes that we incorporated went towards making great product. So Gemini is actually doing very well in the field right now. Right out of the box was working perfectly. And this is one of the things that um, makes me proud of this team, that we were able to develop and deliver what we said we were going to. I believe that if we didn't do something like this, the chances of failure are, were really, really high. I'm not sure we would have made it without doing some of these LPBD practices. So I think in the development of Gemini, the incorporation of the processes that we learned from uh, LPBD made a huge benefit in its development, huge scope, huge innovation, um, and huge integration of both our operations and engineering teams. And if we had not used the processes that we did use, our ability to get it into production in that time frame, uh, it would have been impossible. Following the LPPD practices along the way is absolutely worth it for your for your sanity and your <laughs> your state of culture at work, your happiness, and the project success. Your team doesn't stop at the four walls of your building. Suppliers are often a critical but overlooked part of development teams. Susan DeSandre, a former Apple and Ford supply chain executive shares how she worked on building stronger relationships in order to strengthen ties with suppliers in two very different organizations. Suppliers as full team members in the product development process is paramount. And the way that you do that is by developing strong relationships. It sounds very simple, but it's not. It is understanding what drivers are in their business that you need to be aware of for them to be successful. So the match pair process at the Ford Motor Company evolved out of the 2006-2007 timeframe when the company's business results were quite honestly just horrid. And the morale of the the teams was very low, product quality was not good. At the same time, there was a supplier survey that was conducted throughout the entire automotive industry. Ford was pretty close to the bottom of that. I led the procurement team for Global Body Exterior and Jim Morgan led the corresponding engineering team. And by the 2010-11 timeframe, Ford had moved from the bottom of the barrel in 2007 all the way to the top. So it was a very, very effective process. Every Monday morning, rain or shine, Jim and I would sit shoulder to shoulder leading our teams. And the partnership that we formed uh, gave permission to our teams because match pairs went all the way down. So the morale of the teams, including my own personal morale, was the highest that it really had been in the 26 years I was at Ford. And in addition to all of that, what we were able to do was to develop and really push along our supplier relationships. So every year, Jim and I, for example, we traveled the world together visiting our key suppliers, and we did that coincident with the annual planning process. The Apple culture obviously is very different from the Ford Motor Company. As I described it, it was crazy town to me and sometimes bordered on mayhem. But as I had more experience and got a little more confidence, I could see and I, I learned to appreciate the mayhem, which really is the magic of Apple. It's what enables them to get done things that nobody else could get done. But I knew a little bit more process, a little bit more structure, a little better partnership would go a long way. So what I decided to do was reach out to my product development partner, 
she's the one of the VPs in PD at Apple, Kate, and I asked, hey, could we have coffee? I took her through the match pair process, the transformation that we had made, how successful we were, and how I thought maybe there were some things that we could do at Apple. The very next meeting, we're in the product review, Kate pushes her chair over at the end of the oblong table and says, hey Susan, why don't you come sit right next to me? And we all know just that that visible partnership and leadership was, uh, and, uh, it was all, actually all we needed to do at Apple. The internal alignment at Apple did result in better external relationships with the suppliers because after you build a stronger relationship inside, you're able to speak more freely. It was really important for the success of Apple as well. If you don't take the time, and particularly as leaders, to reach across and work collaboratively in your organizations and with suppliers, it is just not that fun of a place to work. And you, you really risk losing the motivation of your teams. We've all been in environments where it's just not that fun. And we've been in environments where the culture is positive and you're really excited about giving it your all and maybe more. So, you know, as leaders, my view very vehemently is that we have a responsibility to create a culture where our teams love coming to work. And I've never been in an environment where that happens if you're working in silos. This video is far from an exhaustive review of LPPD tools and methods. It's intended to demonstrate a couple of examples, and I hope that it's inspired you to want to improve your development capability. Thanks to our learning partner organizations for sharing their experiences, and thanks to you for watching. For more information about LEI products and services, or joining our learning group of companies, go to leanpd.org or contact us at info at lean.org. The LEI team is committed to improving the way new value is created 